Hi. In this project, we're going to introduce some very basic features of the Analog Discovery's Arbitrary Waveform Generator. The Arbitrary Waveform Generator is often called the AWG, or the Waveform Generator for short. In this project, we'll use the AWG to make an LED flash on and off. Here's a schematic of the circuit we'll use. It's the same circuit we used in our voltage instrument project, except that it uses channel 1 of the waveform generator, the W1 terminal of the analog discovery, to provide power to the LED. Parameters, such as voltage or current, which vary with time, are generically called signals. Waveform generators create what are called periodic signals. This just means that the shape of the signal repeats itself at a regular interval. For example, this signal is periodic. The signal repeats itself at this rate. The period of a signal is generally denoted by a capital T. There are a number of terms which are commonly used when generating signals using a waveform generator. I'll define these relative to the simple square wave shown here, but the definitions hold regardless of the specific wave shape. A signal's frequency is the inverse of the period. Units of frequency are hertz, which is the same as cycles per second. The offset of a signal is simply its average value. An offset simply moves the entire signal up and down along the vertical axis. The amplitude of a signal is the vertical distance between the average value and its peak value. Now let's see how to use the waveform generator to create some signals and apply them to our circuit. Here's the circuit from our project on the voltage instrument. In order to change the power supply from V plus, we'll simply replace this connection with channel one of the waveform generator, the solid yellow wire on our flywire connector. To open the waveform generator, click on the wave gen icon on the waveform's main window. I want to apply a square wave with a frequency of one hertz and an amplitude that goes from negative four volts to positive four volts to the LED. To create our signal, click on the icon that looks like a square wave. To get a frequency of 1 hertz, we need to make sure that 1 hertz is between the maximum and minimum frequencies that are available to us. So I need to change the lower frequency to something below 1 hertz. Now I can choose a frequency of 1 hertz. I'll set the amplitude to 4 volts, leave the offset at 0 volts, so now the voltage will go from negative 4 volts to 4 volts and back again. The LED will only turn on when the wave is at a high voltage level, so we should see the LED turn on at a rate of about once per second. The LED will be on for half a second and off for half a second. To apply power, click on Run AWG1. That's really all there is to it. I'd recommend, however, that you play around with the controls and see what effect they have. For example, we can easily change the rate at which the diode flickers by changing the frequency of the applied square wave. We can also check to see at what voltage the LED first turns on by applying a constant voltage and gradually increasing the voltage level until the diode comes on.